Formula 1's next generation of cars will be just as powerful as the current generation of F1 cars, but will use significantly less energy and produce next to zero exhaust CO2 emissions. This is possible thanks to the all new engine regulations agreed to. With these new regulations, Audi and Porsche are also joining in, in the fun. Porsche is in the process of buying into Red Bull's F1 team to develop a new engine in partnership with Red Bull's new powertrains division, while Audi has been heavily linked with the takeover of Alfa and Sauber. So what will be different with the new generation of F1 cars? Well, the current 1.6 litre V6 turbocharged internal combustion engine will evolve to include a far more powerful electrical component. The MGUK or Kinetic Motor Generator Unit will almost triple the amount of electrical power produced by the current system, taking the output from 120 kW all the way to 350 kW. Now that's a massive increase in power. Now at the moment an F1 car produces just over a thousand horsepower and the next generation will be just as powerful. Now because the car will produce so much more power with its electric assistance, less fuel will flow to the engine and less fuel will be used overall. But more than that, these cars will run on a special type of fuel. The new F1 power units will run on fully sustainable fuels thanks to intense research and testing from Formula 1 and their partner Armaco. This means that no new fossil carbon will be burned, instead they will run on biomass fuel. Now this is genius. Now what is biomass fuel? Well, in simple terms, it's leftovers derived from non-food sources or genuine municipal waste. So instead of burning the waste or just throwing it away, we will use it to power our F1 cars. So all good there. And that's not where they stopped. The car is also safer. The new MGU K is said to be enclosed within the chassis. All the high voltage equipment will now be contained within this safety cell, making for a safer car. Now on these new F1 cars, there will be a cost cap, so manufacturers can't go crazy, and there will be a cap on dyno time as well. But they do have the freedom to change and develop the upper half of the engine, with the aim of optimizing the combustion system around the new fuels. Now all of this is great, for more than one reason. So let's start by talking about the sport. Have you watched Formula E? Yes, it's still cool, but watching a race without a screaming, fuel-fed engine just isn't the same. Say what you want, but there's a reason why F1 is more popular than Formula E. Next, all of this development by Armaco is good for all of us. Finding ways to run our existing internal combustion engine powered vehicles on more sustainable and more eco-friendly fuel is just great. It's good news for our planet and it's good news for all of our petrol heads out there. And as a bonus point, it's good news for most forms of motorsports, because if it can be used in F1, it can be developed and changed a bit to be used in other motorsports. So it's a win-win-win. But let me know what you guys think down below about the way Formula 1 is going. At least it's still going to use a proper internal combustion engine and it's going to be greener. So I really think this is great. I think this is a good move. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on all things car related. If you like cars, this is the place to be. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.